Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. And we're looking in Book of John, chapter 21, verses 15 through 17. And you remember the background. Uh, Jesus has been crucified. Peter made a bold confession before the crucifixion that he would never deny Christ. And but sure enough, at the crucifixion, or before during the process they are in, you know, he denies Christ three times. He becomes discouraged after and uh, after the resurrection and and so forth. And he goes back. Maybe he became discouraged within himself. Maybe he thought because he denied Christ that his his ministry was done. He could never recover. Jesus meets. Um, uh, Peter and uh, many of the other disciples, and they've gone back to their old lifestyle. They've gone back to what they know, fishing. They've gone back to that old lifestyle, and uh, they've been, they're have been they fishing. And it says here, So when they had dined, Jesus said unto Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? And he saith unto them, Yea, Lord, Thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto them, feed my, feed my lambs. And he saith unto him again, the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, yea, Lord, thou knowest I love thee. He saith unto him, feed my sheep. And he saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter grieved, was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he saith unto, unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus said unto him, Feed my sheep. Do you love me, Peter, more than these? What's he saying? Do you love me more than fishing? Do you love me more than, than anything else? Do you agape me? Peter, do you love me as much as I love you? And Peter, Peter could not, Simon could not uh, answer Jesus. I, I, I don't love you the way you love me. I phileo you, but you agape me. I love you as much as I can. And Jesus answers, you need to take care of my lambs. You need to take care of my sheep. You need to keep, take care of my followers. If you love me more than you love fishing, you, this, the, and if you're going to trust me rather than putting your faith in, in this old occupation, then you need to uh, feed his sheep. You know what? Maybe some, some of us today need to begin to analyze whether we love Jesus more than, and you fill in the blank. Do I love Jesus more than I love the NFL? Do I love Jesus more than I love my, my job? Do I love Jesus more than I love my wife or my husband? Do I love Jesus more than I love my, my, my children? Do I love Jesus more than making money or watching this show or doing this or doing that? The fact is, is you know what? We, if we're not careful, we put people, we put things, we put objects in front of God. I guarantee you there are more p people who claim the name of Christ, who care more about what happens um, Sunday afternoon in the football game than they do, they care about what happens in the church. You know what? They'll gladly wear their, their, their NFL paraphernalia. They'll gladly uh, spend their money on that, but will they gladly give their tithes and offerings to the church. They'll gladly uh, spend money on the country club fees so they can so they can golf when they want to golf on Sunday mornings, but they won't give their tithes and offerings. They'll go out fishing. They'll go out and do this, and they'll go out and do that. They'll make Sunday uh, family day. They'll make Sunday uh, football day. They'll make Sunday uh, whatever day. And they cease to put Christ first. Simon, do you love me more than these? And today I want to ask you, do you love Jesus more than? And I guarantee you, God has put something in your mind. 
Do you love Jesus more than that? Because Jesus first. It should always be Jesus first. He should be first before your family, first before your job, first before the um, before football or basketball or baseball or golf or fishing or anything else. First before our jobs. We put him first in the yes, and there's nothing wrong with the rest as long as they're put in their proper place. As someone rightfully says, whatever we put in front of God becomes our idol. It doesn't have to be a little Buddha that you bow down to. All it has to be something that we put in front of Christ. So my question to you today is, do you love me? Do you love Jesus more than these? And Jesus said, if you do, then you need to feed my sheep. Get involved. Don't allow that to steal your ministry. Don't allow those things to steal your time in God's word. Don't allow those things to um, keep you from making an eternal impact in people's lives. Amen? Amen. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, saying God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.